Welcome back to another video, Ranger Nation. Today we are going to be looking at the Power Ranger Lightning Collection, which is Fan First Friday Power Ranger Edition from Hasbro. They have released quite a few things right now, and also I apologize for the light. So let's break this down, let's have a look at it. If you like this sort of video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Let's just jump straight into it. So first up we have the two putty patrol pack, which comes with two putties, interchangeable hands and weapons, and a clip-on blast. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Um, if you've ever watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers original series, you've probably seen these characters, the minions and foot soldiers. To I think anyone them, but they're actually created has by seen Mr. the Power Rangers. Play. But the Putty Patrol will know who it is. Creepy stoic expressions, which we've captured here. Another thing I really love about these sculpts in particular is if you look at the hands and weapons, they I really think tried to that when you had this, this is how it should have been um, all the time, with the which worked a bit better than, um, see, like, the hand say, like the Green Ranger and Putty Pack. These should have been the main ones that came out. And build out your cord. Second figure we have for you today is the Green See, Psycho, Psycho Green. They're pretty cool. Twisted Why figures, wasn't it the, like the girls the Green or Ranger something like that? The particular is pretty important to the lore because he is the first original Psycho Ranger. Formerly known as Trek. Yeah, I think I would have done something different. Dark Spectre released and evil did it actually add to the lore? I don't think it really did. In our did. six inch figure line, he is sporting a high gloss green deco and comes with his psycho dagger, which is the warped counterpart of the dragon dagger. It looks and okay. Like, I'm not doing it to my collection. Um, so here he has an evil outreaching hand that's sparking with lightning energy. But it does look kind of cool. Next up, we have the Alpha 5 and Zordon See, Walmart pack. Alpha and Zordon? Our Rangers days. Zordon wasn't just a commanding voice and like, a floating head. I think they should have used really the Zeo stuff rather than this because it's the Zeo kind so of look of it. But, and do something a little different. So if you look closely, you can see that he is molded in a translucent. I just don't think that the Zordon blue. looks like and Zordon to me. Powder too. If you actually press the button on the front, you will see that it illuminates the yeah, face but, to really highlight that glowing. On the, the, the glowing of the Zordon. face is fine. I, 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 this offer would not be complete but without the trusty help Alpha, of anxiety ridden Alpha 5. Alpha looks like, actually, to be fair, now Alpha looks like a really good sculpt. So you can place like the colors pop quite a bit. In, stressed out states. in addition to metallic detailing. I think he should have come with a CD though. It comes with his prize teddy bear. Okay, the teddy bear was a nice kind of like Last, touch to it. Definitely not least. Is but Walmart it probably should have come with now, a range in next to it. For any okay. Fan or cosplayer. Uh, You're going to want this in your collection. So the Morpher. So this is inspired by the first Morpher of the history of Power Rangers. Why are they adding the Tommy it's one in this though? It's a classic Morpher with all the die cast coins. And upon opening this Morpher okay, so and this... placing the coins in, you will hear a morphing Why? sequence with inspired noises and dialogue from the classic series in addition to lights that correspond with the ranger's colors. Mm. When not in use, you can place all the coins and the morpher on I do like the display. I think that looks quite included. nice. Perfect for any collector or fan. Okay, so I'm going to kind of break this down and have a look into what I think is it is the main thing. I'm sorry about the light. When they morph, I noticed that um, it, like when you put the, like from a certain angle, you have like the lights that go around it. And then all of a sudden, but when you put the coin in, it goes like Tyrannosaurus. You think it, it'd stay red. Um, it would be nice to actually see the other kind of uh, colors with it. So you can hear like Trini or you can hear Kimberly. You know, it would be really cool to see other little things like that. Um, I think that would have added to this. This is a nice figure. Um, so kind of my thoughts. Oh, <laughs> breaking news on something else. Um, we are going to freaking be talking about this. So let's get this video out of the way. Um, so, oh God, it's all the news. Everything drops in one go. Right. Okay. So let's have a look. The Puddy Pack. Uh, I did a review on the putties. I will probably do a review on these, but it looks pretty much the same. There are two different types you get in this one. So you get one with the lines going everywhere and then the kind of lines up on the chest. You get different things. I do like the exploding pack. 
Um, I think that is gonna look really, really cool. And I can tell that a lot of people are gonna be buying this for their army builders. So you, I can expect everyone saying, I've just bought a ton of putties everywhere. Um, and then that'll be kind of cool. So I expect that to kind of like sell out really, really quickly. Now the green Psycho Ranger, um, it does look kind of cool. It does look like it's something that I would collect, obviously. Um, I do think that this should have been one of the girls though, because I think that would have kind of set it apart rather than going something that isn't law apparently. Why is it, why do they think it's law? It's not. Um, I think I will, would have gone with one of the girls, uh, seeing as we had like this come out at, is it, do we have this version come out already? But I would have gone for one of the girls. I do like the detail on this. I do love the green. I do love everything about it. I think that looks really, really cool. I just think maybe this looks really, really painted because it's the first one. Uh, I just, I, I really don't know about it. Um, I just think the girls would have been a lot easier. Zordon and Alpha, this is where I'm kind of a bit meh on this one. Like I like the, the finish of this i think it looks really really nice i just don't i think zordon looks a little bit like ernie in this one um maybe they obviously wanted to try and get it out but this also kind of reminds me of the toy that came out like in the bandai range i, I just think that maybe it's very hard to do zordon but very easy at the same time but also this is the zeo one um it looks like the zeo one anyway the light is fine so it's gonna be interesting like i would have preferred that maybe they stood up the rest of the ranges with that so you could see the kind of scale towards it because even from pictures and from the video to me it doesn't look like alpha is the right size it just looks like it's going to be a small version of alpha and i do think that they should have just put the cd in just for a laugh because i think that would have been kind of cool um it does look fine so having a look at the next picture which is the one in the in its packaging i do kind of like that but i kind of really want to see a little bit more from it even when you look at the back of the figure the, it looks a bit more impressive than what we've got so this is a kind of one and now we've got the kind of power morpher i really like it's in this sort of kind of like this can like stand it does look kind of cool um i think it'd be kind of awesome if you could put the you don't have to have a coin in the morpher maybe but i can see what they're going for but I really do kind of like this. Um, the coins look exactly like what we had originally. Um, so that's kind of cool. So looking at the packaging now, um, I find it looks like the morph is slightly wonky uh, in this one, but I do like it a little bit. I like the fact that it's also in the shape of the morpher itself. So that adds to it. So I can see a lot of people either buying all of these and using them for display so they can have them all lit up. Um, I think that would look kind of cool though. And then they've released the back of the packaging, which again, looks kind of fine. Uh, I am gonna get this, I'm gonna go and pre-order it after I've uh, shot this video. So it does look really awesome. My thoughts on the whole, um, with when you put the coin into the, into the morpher, and it makes the sound. Why am I, why am I still wearing these? Um, yes, it does sound really, really cool. And again, it's something that's never been done before. I am kind of really excited for this because I, I'm looking forward to maybe they've got hidden sounds. So adding to this, yeah, I'm sold on this. I'm gonna pre-order mine in a bit. I do like it. Maybe they'll have ultimate sounds. Uh, one of my friends pointed out that they got the button right. So it's actually like Bandai never really painted the red on the button. So I'm gonna go with that. So this is kind of nice for what it is. But yeah, I'm kind of sold on it. I really like what they've brought out. But the biggest news is what we're gonna be talking about, either if I edit this one after or beforehand. Either way, we're gonna talk about it in the next video. So I am gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of content and you wanna see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for uh, watching and I'll see you in the next video.